And these advertisers don't hesitate to use glamorous TV commercials to paint vivid pictures of an amazing and perhaps a little bit unbelievable computer-controlled future. The motor car is likely to become the biggest user of the silicon chip outside the computer industry. We're already being seduced by a glossy image of life with microcomputers. Step inside and sit at the seat of a car that's so full of microcomputers that a driver hardly seems necessary. I once bought a car where, to maximise engine life, the instructions were to change the oil every 1,500 miles if it was in heavy usage, i.e. you were driving it in heavy traffic. In medium usage, you change every 3,000 miles, and light usage, cruising up and down motorways, you change the oil every 6,000 miles. The trouble was, I could never remember exactly what I'd used my car for during the previous period, so I used to change the oil whenever I thought it needed it. Well, happily, the problem has been solved. We now are able to measure every possible thing that this car is doing in its engine. And by using electronic sensors, we can take the oil temperature, the oil pressure, the engine revs, things we've been doing for years. But in addition to that, to take fuel flow, how much fuel is being used, how often the car's been used, how long the journeys are, the number of times the accelerator's been pressed, and for how long. No matter how this car is driven, information from the sensors builds up a picture that can tell me when it needs an oil change or a service. And that is the secret. A single chip microcomputer system that carries out all this work. Well, I could imagine that this could actually save the life of your engine, but there are other microcomputers in this car that could save your life. In an emergency, a computer takes over and stops the brakes locking. You can brake and steer without losing control. This time, the sensors measure the speed of each wheel and feed the information to a microcomputer controlling the braking circuits. Just before the wheel locks, the brakes are released for just a fraction of a second. There are actually six computers in this car, each one dedicated to a separate task providing information, controlling your safety, and if you keep an eye on your fuel consumption indicator, you could cut your petrol bills. The microprocessors in this car are not of themselves particularly expensive, so we're likely to find them on much cheaper models of the next generation. 